guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 14 of Hinogato Sky Party Curse. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It's a little too loud. She coming. Be patient. There you go. God, this is so weird. Did you see this so early on? Oh my god. Week is butterflies turn. I don't know. I mean, could you know 14 episodes in. 14 and this girl still has not changed into her pretty care. Like, oh my god, it still feels weird. Like, I feel like they're saving her. For the 20 mark, like when the final cure comes, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh! That is so weird seeing the new person and not going. <laughs> Both of, them. <laughs> of course, the whole city was. It is, and it's just giving all the final episode vibes of the series, which is, oh! Once again, weird that we're going to get now instead of the end of the series, and it makes you wonder how this season is going to end. Oh, she's so freaking pretty. Ah!
Okay, you know, the one. Sora Myers. Oh, wait, Sora! Oh, wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's so pretty. I mean, bruh. I think I might have to say that like the whole freaking episode. She's so pretty. Literally the male all um yeah, female all my vibes. I love it. You sure about that? Of course. Our red versus blue. That's interesting. Get that hook in. Get that hook in.
Honestly, she is. Yay. So handsome. She's right. <laughs> Me too, baby. Me too. <laughs> Can we just take out friend and put girlfriend? Because, I mean, we already know they're together. I don't care what you tell me. They married. They've been married since episode one. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. So don't feel bad about that. Oh, now this is going to go princess vibes now? Oh. Oh. 
kind of, but you know, she ain't captured, you know. Okay, now remember, divide it good equally until we get butterfly. Yeah, I still don't think they're going to do what I want them to do until it is either all four of them or all five of them. Where it's like, once again, each one of the, I can't say girls, each one of them, there we go, better, says the freaking thing. But, you know, mm, it's only hop, step, jump. So, you know, that can't work with four.
Now I'm kind of wondering, since our majority of the battle is now going to be in Skyland because new villain, or is he going to merge back to Earth? Like, I wonder how they're going to do this. They could do a lot. Oh my god. It, just, it makes me more excited once we get into the Go Princess rewatch. So speaking of rewatches, reactions, um, I know last week I said those were resumed this week. I gotta postpone it one more week. So those will officially come back next Sunday. I will be recording those tonight before um so like in what two hours and such. But the first episode and battle in Skyland, I'm not mad at it. But I'm wondering how they're going to do this because, of course, yes, Mashiro needs to come back home. How eventually are they going to have Agatha? <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to be a girl with my baby Flora. It's going to be worse with Lovely next week. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> God, we're getting down to like the wire, which is crazy. But still, yeah, I like, I really want to know how they're going to do this because we're 14 episodes in. Once again, Butterfly is not in the group yet. She needs to be at least before episode 20. But I, I still like the pacing of what we're doing with this, where it's like, oh, hey, we were with one for a couple episodes and we got two for a couple episodes. Now we're on our trio. And I'm just waiting for that fourth. Okay, so here's my thing. All right, so episode four. Uh, she's not coming until at least episode 20. So sometime next month. Because there's four weeks in a month, and so by the end of the month, we should be on episode 18 or 19. Um, so then maybe about 21 to 25, she should officially pop up. So I, I kind of made that prediction even a couple of weeks ago, so I'm just going to stick with that even now. But having the battle take place at, like, sunset, really the atmosphere and the way they were going was very really one gorgeous it gave me kind of shonen vibes especially not how like if you look at the final battle of tropical rouge that and then i think it's episode 31 or 32 of tropical rouge pretty here and just how amazing and beautifully they did that ish just it felt very calm serene and they were just like here let's take a little bit of badassery in this because hey this is a really pretty moment, but still, at the same time, our villain of the week is destroying the city, so we have to make everything look really shiny and pretty. I mean, Sky, she looked gorgeous. Everybody looked gorgeous. I, I would have to say the monster of the week also looked nice, good. Everybody looked good, too. Um, I'm not mad at the fact that we're getting episodes where they get to go to Skyland. Like, I really personally enjoy that because, once again, if you're looking at other Pretty Cure series, they don't get to go 
to whoever's mainland or homeland until like towards the end of the series. It's usually about like the last two or three episodes of like literally after the final battle or that's like the midway point. So that could be like 25 to 30 and then they do like one special episode which usually is the final episode. Um, essentially them going back doing some wacky filler as something that will still connect to the main series and then we will meet our new girl and such and then we all cry and then we do the cycle all over again because <laughs> 14 weeks ago that happened with delicious party and we're doing it now but it's it's still once again it's super weird to just see this very early on because like i said you're not seeing this until like 25 to 30 to the end of the show and I'm honestly not mad about that. Whoever really is directing this, they, once again, took notes from everyone. So I, I think not only me and any other Pretty Cure YouTuber or just YouTubers in general, majority of the audience, old, uh, young and old, um, and maybe just anything else. And then plus they looked at all the older seasons and said, okay, we're going to take some things that we liked about this, but we're also going to make some new changes and stuff. And I'm not mad about that. And once again, because it is the anniversary, they're going all out on this. And so it does make me wonder when Butterfly and when Majesty come in, where the heck is their placement going to be? <laughs> because we're almost at summer and Butterfly ain't here. And it's super weird, but it's okay. I ain't mad at it. I'm still enjoying it regardless. But like I said, yes. Freaking bomb good episode. Loved everything. I'm glad Sora and, you know, they're home. That's it. But still, it's going to hurt when Mashiro has to leave. But how are they going to do that? There, there's so many things that we could do. So I feel like we're going to get several episodes here. And then we're going to go back to Earth. But who really knows? But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episode 14 of Hirogato Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially either next Saturday, because I want to go back to Saturdays to doing this. I would have done this last night, but I instantly fell asleep. Um, or if not, you'll see me Sunday morning. Of course, pre-recorded and stuff for episode 15. And then also, you will see me once again next Sunday for the continuation of Mahot Sky. And yes, Pretty Cure 5 rewatch. And then eventually, you know, when, we, when we're when we done with that, I'm trying to figure out which Pretty Cure series I'm going to rewatch next. But we won't know until we get there. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.